An onslaught of stories hit social media this week, all about students' interactions with BYU's Honor Code Office calling for reform. ABC4's education correspondent Sarah Martin spoke with student activists today about their latest on their protest. Almost 30,000 people are now following the Honor Code Stories Instagram page. Students are using that momentum to get organized here on campus. The goal of this is just to show the Honor Code that we love our school, we love the gospel, and we love being a part of this community, but we think that the way that the Honor Code is enforcing its policies and the way that they're, they're handling things right now is antithesis to everything that we know in the religion is antithesis to gospel principles. Anonymous submissions claim that the Honor Code Office has investigated students for social media posts from years before acceptance, for how regularly students wear their temple garments, and even alleged homosexual relationships, often with little to no evidence or correlation to the actual written Honor Code. Right now, if I don't like somebody and I see them watching a rated R movie, they can get sent to the Honor Code Office for that, and that stays on their Honor Code Office file. Students report being asked to sign this form, a waiver of priest parishioners or privilege so that the honor code office can go to the student's ecclesiastical leader and get further information about the repentance process. They say that you have the choice to sign away your legal rights, but you really don't. They're forcing kids into this and they're holding their academic futures hostage because of religious sins a lot of the time. A common theme in these anonymous posts is that though the student may have admitted to an infraction and taken steps to restitution, they are deemed spiritually worthy by their ecclesiastical leaders long before they are deemed spiritually worthy by the honor code office. We believe in the atonement, and I don't think that that follows the spirit of the atonement at all. Students will be holding a sit-in protest at BYU campus next Friday the 12th. Reporting in Provo, I'm Sarah Martin, ABC4 News. Now, BYU so far has declined any request to do an interview, but they have said they have had multiple meetings with the Honor Code Office about possible reforms.